Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. I'm here again with another Mismatch Monday. And today the mismatch, albeit not as big a mismatch as the last one I did, and probably won't be as big a mismatch as you're going to see in the future, today's uh, mismatch matchup is going to be the 1967 Baltimore Orioles visiting the 1967 Detroit Tigers. The 67 Orioles were 76 and 85 and tied for sixth place in the American League. The 1967 Tigers were tied for second place in the American League and they were 91 and 71. But this isn't the disparity in the records and the disparity of the some of the players on some of the teams isn't as bad as you would usually see. So I uh, really have no idea what to expect from this game. I don't think that's true. I think you have some very definite ideas about it, and I'd like to know what they are. So uh, we will get on with this. We, the game will be in Detroit. And we'll go over the lineup for the Baltimore Orioles first. The Baltimore Orioles will line up as Luis Aparicio at shortstop, Paul Blair in center field, Frank Robinson in right field, Boog Powell at first base, Kurt Bluffery in left field, Brooks Robinson, one of the best third basemen of all time at third base, Davey Johnson, who managed the Mets in 1986 and other years, at second base. Andy Etchebarren will be the catcher, and the pitcher today will be Pete Richard. Pete Richard in 1967 was 9 and uh, 8, 9 and 16 with a 347 earned run average. But he allowed 156 hits in 187 innings. So that bad record probably wasn't Pete's fault. And he will be going up against um, Joe Sparma. He will be the pitcher for the Detroit Tigers. And the Detroit and uh, Joe Sparma, <coughs> excuse me, in 1967 was 16 and 9 with a 376 earned run average. So uh, Sparma is a righty and uh, Richard is a lefty. And we will get on with the game. The first batter, as I said, is Luis Aparicio of the... Uh, and by the way, disclaimer, mistakes are going to be made or quite possibly will be made. I, every video I've done, I've no, somebody has noticed a mistake, or I have, and so that happens. You're going to have to bear with me on that one. So we have Luis Aparicio. He is a righty against Sparma, and that is going to be a ballpark single. And uh, the ballpark we are in is Detroit, and the single for a righty is 1-10. to 10, And so that is, it is a single for Luis Aparicio. Uh, Detroit's... Um, Single is 1 to 10 against both lefty and righty, and its home run is 1 to 14 for a lefty and 1 to 11 for a righty. So, with the Aparicio aboard, the next batter is Paul Blair, the Paul Blair Project, and he gets a 2 6. He is a righty, and uh, that is going to be a double 1 to 18, and that is exactly what that is. It's a double. So, Blair gets a double. He moves Aparicio to third. And uh, just like that, Sparma has already given up two hits. And has Orioles at second and third with Frank Robinson up. Frank Robinson getting a 4-8. He is a righty. And that is going to be a walk. And so the bases are full of birds here. And uh, Sparma with the walk. And three guys on for Boog Powell. Boog Powell. And no outs. There are no outs. And that is a 4-6. That's going to be bad, I think. He is a left-handed batter. 
that is going to be a double. It's a double and scores two runs. So, Aparicio scores and so does Blair. Sparma gives up another hit. He gives up two earned runs. He is in a lot of trouble here. And the, the next batter is Kurt Bleffery, the left fielder. He gets a 3-6 against a righty, and that is going to be a single double asterisk and knock in both of those runs. It does. Okay, it does. Yeah. And so that brings up Brooks, Brooks Robinson with, um, with Bleffery aboard at first base. He gets a 1-7 against a righty, and uh, or against, yes, against a righty, and that is going to be the first two outs. It's a ground ball shortstop A. So he grounds into a double play to the shortstop, and uh, that brings up Dave Johnson, the former Mets manager, and obviously Orioles second baseman. He gets a 2-7, and against a righty, that is a fly ball center field. But not before the Orioles score four runs in the first inning. There <laughs> Gonna have to Detroit has their work cut out for them all of a sudden here. And we will go over the Detroit lineup now. Uh, that will be Mickey Stanley leading off and playing center field. Jim Northrup will be the right fielder batting second. Dick McAuliffe will play second base and bat third. Norm Cash is the cleanup hitter and playing first base. Willie Horton will be the left fielder. Then Bill Freehand, the catcher. Don Wirt, the third baseman, batting seventh. The eighth batter is Ray Euler of uh, Seattle Pilots fame in 1969. And the pitcher, Joe Sparma, although at this rate, you've got to believe they're not even going to get to Sparma in the batting order. And if they do, they'll pinch hit for but Mickey Stanley is leading off right now. He gets a 3-8 against a lefty, and that is going to be a ground ball to short. So that's 6-3. He's out. Brings up Jim Northrup. Northrup gets a 5-7. And against a lefty, that is going to be a strikeout. So that's a strikeout for Richard, who really has uh, his job is a lot easier now. And Dick McAuliffe comes up. He gets a 6-7. And 6-7, lefty on lefty. And that is going to be a ground ball to the second base X. The second baseman is Davey Johnson. He is a 3. And uh, that was a 17. So that's probably going to be... And out, but we will check it. 17-3 at second base is indeed an out. And so they go 1-2-3. The, uh, the uh, Tigers do in the first. We go to the top of the second. And, um, and uh, the leadoff batter for the Orioles in the second is Andy Echebear in the catcher. He gets a 4-10, a righty on a uh, righty, and that is going to be a catcher card X. The catcher is freehand. He is a 1, and that is a 4. That's a 3, a roll of 3. 3-1, uh, that is going to be a foul out. So Echebaron fouls out to the catcher, and Pete Richard, the pitcher, is up. He gets a 4-10. A left-handed batter on a right-handed pitcher and that is going to be a catcher card X as well and uh, that's a 13 13 and 1 at catcher is going to be an out and that brings the third batter of the inning to the plate and the first batter of the lineup which is Luis Aparicio with two outs. 
And that is a 3-4 um, against a um, against a righty, and that's going to be a pop-out to second. So the Orioles go 1-2-3 in the second inning, but they still maintain that big 4 nothing lead. And we have Norm Cash, the first baseman for Detroit, leading off here in the second. He gets a 311. And uh, let's see, lefty on righty, and uh, or no, lefty on lefty, and that is going to be a ground ball first base A. So Cash goes ground out three. Horton is up. Willie Horton. He gets a 1 7, um, and that is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. And Bill Freehand is up. The catcher, two down quickly here, one five, and uh, he gets a walk. By the way, I want to also point out, do not put any stock in uh, the out marker because that won't necessarily be up to date. I'm pretty bad about moving the out marker, but I will be doing a good commentary to keep you up to date here. So Don Word is up with a man on and two down. And he gets a 2-7 against a lefty, and that is going to be a ground ball shortstop, and he is out. And the Detroit Tigers get nothing in the second, and they still are trailing by four as we go to the top of the third inning with Paul Blair up. And he gets a 3-4 against a righty. And that is going to be a fly ball B. Fly ball right field B. And Frank Robinson is up. One down. Trying to keep up with that. One nine. And one nine is going to be, against a righty, is going to be a line out to third base. And Boo Powell is the batter. And he gets a 6-4, lefty on righty. And that is going to be a ballpark single um, again. and But it's a 17, so it is an out. And it is actually a line out to second base. So Powell lines out to four. No runs come in for the Orioles, but again, they got a huge first inning and lead 4 nothing. And Roy, Ray Euler is the batter. He is the shortstop and leading off, and he gets a 6-5, a righty on a lefty. And that is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop for the Orioles is Aparicio. He is a two. That is a roll of 18. We'll see what 18 and two is at shortstop. Probably an out. And it is. So he goes six to three. And Joe Sparma the batter and also the pitcher who's behind four nothing but he's had a two good innings so they're gonna let him bat here and the leadoff guy didn't get on anyway six five he is a right-handed batter um, and that is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop so no harm done because oh wait a minute uh, we'll have to it's a ground ball X so we have to check it although he is a two and a five and a two at shortstop probably an out and it is so he does go 6-3 and as it turns out uh, whoever you would have pinch hit right there would have also grounded out to the shortstop so that brings up Mickey Stanley and he gets a 3-9 and he is a righty um, going up against a uh, lefty and that is going to be a fly ball left field B so Detroit, again, gets nothing there. And, in fact, um, there's a no-hitter going on here for Richard, although uh, I hope I didn't um, jinx him. 
but uh, you know, we'll see. Uh, Kurt Bleffery is the uh, batter for the Orioles here in the top of the fourth. He gets a 3 8 uh, against a right handed pitcher, and that is going to be a home run. Kurt Blaffery going deep, and that's just another run for the Orioles. Something that Sparma did not need. And Brooks Robinson is now the batter. He gets a 111 against a righty, and that is going to be a um, single. So he gets a hit. Sparma gives up two more hits. He gives up, um, he's given up five earned runs. Um, and let's see, Dave Johnson is up with a man aboard, and there are no outs. And he gets a 310 against a righty, and that is going to be a ground ball third base B. So it's a fielder's choice, and, uh, Johnson is now aboard with Echebaron up and also one out and I did get that this time and he gets a 3-7 against a righty that's going to be a fly ball center field B the old F8 and that brings up Richard pitching a no hitter so they're not going to pinch hit for him obviously two down here with a man aboard 4-9 um, for a left handed batter and that is going to be a fly ball to the left fielder. So he flies out to seven. And the Orioles do get a run, though. And they lead five nothing. Bottom of the fourth. You would not know that the Orioles are the team that was on the um, back end of that um, of the mismatch Monday. And uh, Jim Northrup. And that's the great thing about baseball. You never know. 3-8. Um, he is a lefty and that against a righty, and he gets a ground ball first base. So Northrop is out. Um, oh, wait a minute. 3-8 against... Well, it, it's he's out either way, uh, but he is against a lefty, so that is going to be a fly ball center. So Northrop gets a fly ball to center field, one away. Dick McAuliffe gets a 2-6 uh, against the lefty, and that is going to be a fly ball to right field. So he goes F9, and now that brings up Norm Cash. Norm Cash gets a 6-8, left-handed batter, um, and he has a fly ball to center field. So uh, there was a fly out to every field, or no, there was two fly outs to center and one to right in that inning, which resulted in Detroit getting no runs. We go to the top of the fifth inning. With the Orioles leading hugely, 5-0. I cannot reiterate it enough. Luis Aparicio, we're at the top of the order. He gets a 6-5. He is a right-handed batter. And that is going to be a, um, it's a home run uh, one to five N, but it isn't. And so really what it is, it's a fly ball left field. So uh, he gets a fly ball to left field. The old F7, Blair comes up with one down, one down. And Blair gets a 5-4. He is a righty. 5-4 is going to be a set fly ball center field X. The center fielder is a 1. That is an 18. I would assume that that's an out. Um, and it is. So he goes F8. And Frank Robinson. 
Big Frank Robinson with two down. Nobody on. Gets a 411. He is a righty. Um, and uh, that is going to be a ground ball third base B. So he goes out five to three, and no runs come in for the Orioles. But again, they have that commanding five nothing lead as we go to the bottom of the fifth, and we will see Willie Horton come up to face um, Pete Richard, who still has a no hitter going. And that is a four four for a righty on a lefty, and that's going to be a center field X. Um, let me make sure of that. Um, he is a righty, um, yeah, center field X, and that is Blair. He is a one. That is an 11. 11 might be a problem. Let's see. It Actually, we have to refer to his air rating, and um, Blair's air rating is a six. So we will roll the two dice again. That is a five. And that is going to be a fly ball B. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Nope, it's an E2. It's a, it's a five, yeah, it's an E2. So that is an E2 for Paul Blair. But again, that isn't an error. That's, I mean, not a hit. So Horton is aboard with an E uh, here in the fifth with an E8. And freehand, but it does extend the inning and it does allow other batters to come up. Bill Freehand gets a 1 2. And against a left handed pitcher, that's going to be a hit by pitch plus injury. The injury is 9, so Freehand is definitely out of the game. But he's hit by a pitch, and so he goes to um, he goes to first. Still not a. Uh, um, that's still not a, um, a hit, so he still has the no-hitter intact, but again, he's facing more batters now. Don Wirt gets a 5-5. Five, five. He is a righty, and that is going to be a strikeout. So that is the first out of the inning, and it is. it looks like it's Richard's second strikeout, although don't hold me to that. And Ray Euler is up. Ray Euler gets a 5-4. He is a righty, and that is going to be a catcher card X. Etchebaron is a 2. That is a 7. That looks like a, uh, an out if I've ever seen one, and it is. It's a pop-out. So, Euler pops out to the catcher. And that brings up Sparma, and guess what? They are going to pinch hit for Sparma now. Lenny Green will be the pinch hitter. That is a 1-7 against a lefty, and that is going to be a fly ball center field B. So they get no runs. They do get some guys on base. But they do get no runs, and the new pitcher for the um, Tigers is going to be Fred Gladding. Fred Gladding in 1967 was 6-4 in 77 innings with a 199 earned run average. And uh, we also have to replace um, the catcher... Um, who got injured, Jim Price, and he will go in for Freehand, who was injured and out for the game. And the Orioles are back up here in the sixth inning. Everything back to zero. Nobody on base. And Boog Powell facing Fred Gladding. That's a 4-7. He is a lefty, and that is going to be a strikeout. And 
and uh, Kurt Bleffery is up. One down. He gets a 1-7. Uh, Gladding is a righty. And that is a pop out to first base. And that brings up Brooks Robinson. And he gets a 4-7. Four, 4-7 seven. Four, seven for a righty on a righty. That is a strikeout. So two strikeouts that inning for Gladding. He does his job shutting the Orioles down. Although it is still 5 nothing. And Mickey Stanley is up. Um, the first bat back to the top of the lineup. And he gets a 3-7. And uh, that is going to be a against the lefty. That's going to be a walk. So Stanley with a walk. Here in the bottom of the sixth. Yes, indeed. No, nobody out. And Northrop up, and he gets a 4-8. He is a lefty. That is going to be a walk as well. But again, no hit. But he has walked two guys. He's let uh, some base runners on. There were some base runners last inning for Detroit. Dick McAuliffe gets a 1-7 against a lefty, and that's a strikeout. That is going to be the first out of the uh, inning. And Norm Cash, the first baseman, is up. He gets a 2-3, and a 2-3 is going to be a ground ball second base C. So runners advance. And that brings up Willie Horton. And he gets a 4-5, and a 4-5 is going to be a... Uh, he is a righty, and it's going to be a fly ball left field. So, there are no runs coming across for Detroit again. Richard continues his no-hit sh no shutout. And uh, Dave Johnson comes up. Big Davey Johnson here in the seventh for the Orioles. That is a 4-7. He is a righty. That is a strikeout. Third strikeout for Gladding. Gladding is not playing games here with the Orioles lineup. Andy Echebaron gets a 4-11 against a righty. And that is going to be a walk. Andy Echebaron walks. First guy allowed on by my... Uh, Estimation by Gladding. Here is going to be um, the batter is Richard, and they're going to do a sacrifice. Bunting C, batter is safe, leading runner is thrown out. So the pitcher is safe at first, and there is one down. And that brings up Apparition. Aparicio gets a six or gets a four twelve. Four twelve is going to be a um, walk, and so there are two runners on. And uh, that brings up Paul Blair. Paul Blair gets a five seven. And uh, that he is a righty on a uh, righty, and that is going to be a single to center field. But they're going to hold up the runners. And Frank Robinson comes up. He gets a 3-4. He is a righty against a righty and that is going to be a strikeout so the Tigers are up here in the bottom of the seventh trying to get a run trying to get even a hit really and they will send up Uh, 
uh, Jim Price, the new catcher. And he gets a 310. And against a lefty, that is a ground ball pitcher A. So Richard bounced back to Richard and he throws him out. And Don Word is up. 3 4, that's a, uh, against a, well, it's a strikeout either way. So Don Word strikes out. That is a strikeout for Richard. He's got the no hitter through six and two thirds. Hope I'm not jinxing him. Euler comes up. He gets a 3 4. And against a righty, that is going to be a ground ball pitcher A. And no runs come in. We go to the top of the eighth. Boog Powell is up. Boog Powell gets a 4-5. He is a lefty. And that's going to be a strikeout. Gladding gets another K. Kurt Bleffery gets a 1-6, and against a lefty, that is going to be, or wait a minute, no, he's a righty, so that is going to be a walk. Bleffery getting a walk, so Gladding has put another guy on. He hasn't given up any hits, but he didn't start the game like Richard did. Brooks Robinson gets a 1-4. Against a righty, that is going to be a ballpark single, except it isn't, and it's a line out to second. And that brings up Johnson. Davy Johnson. And he gets a 1-7, and that's going to be a fly ball left field B. No runs come in for the Orioles. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Uh, the batter is Fred Gladding, so they will pinch hit for him. Dick Trzewski will pinch hit right here. That is a 1-8 against a left-handed pitcher, and that is going to be a single, and it's the first hit that the Tigers get. It breaks up the no-hitter. And Trzewski with the hit. In the eighth. And that brings up that brings up Mickey Stanley. And he gets a 4-6, which is, he is against a righty. Uh, wait a minute, you know he's against a right a lefty. Four, or wait, 4-6. He's a right-handed batter. Um, and that's going to be a strikeout. So Stanley strikes out. One down, one on. Northrop up. He gets a 4-5, and that is going to be a fly ball. Um, no, it's going to be a strikeout. Richard strikes him out. Another K for him. That's six strikeouts for him. And Dick McAuliffe comes up. He gets a 4-10. 4-10 is going to be a ground ball second base. A because he is a left-handed batter. So he goes out four to three. The Tigers get no runs, but they do get their first hit. We go to the top of the ninth. And uh, Andy Etchebaron is the batter. He gets a three six, and uh, that is going to be some sort of an out um, against a oh, we have to put in a new pitcher. So Gladding is out of the game, and I'm just going to put in the first pitcher I come to. That's Hank Aguirre. So the put in Hank Aguirre, and uh, that was what a three a three six. He is a lefty, and that is going to be a pop out to short. Etchebaron 
popping the short. That brings up uh, Richard. And he gets a 311, and that is going to be a fly ball center field B. And that brings Luis Aparicio up. He gets a 6-9, and he is a right-handed batter. And that is going to be a fly ball left field B. And here we go with the Tigers' last chance to get anything going, although they are down by five runs. Norm Cash is up. He gets a 1-6. He is a lefty, and he's going up against a lefty. And that is going to be a fly ball to right field. So Cash flies out. There's one down. Willie Horton gets a 2-11. 211 against a lefty and that is going to be a pop out to third base and they're down to their final out here they haven't got they've only gotten one hit Richard has pitched a one hit shutout and Jim Price comes up he gets a 3-5 and that is going to be a fly ball to left field and that's that people the uh, Baltimore Orioles soundly thrashed the Tigers Five nothing. So these games don't really look like mismatches the way they're being played. But that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.